Well, guess what I'm after again? Crappie. Um, you're going to see a lot of that in the coming videos because I've, I've kind of got you know, a kick. And great. Possibly re rig this one. But this is my BFS setup. It's a Cast King Zephyr on a little cheap Shakespeare micro series rod, 4.6 ultralight. Six pound test, and there's only 65 yards of it on there. Like, that's all that reel will hold of 65 pound, or not 65 pound test. 65 yards of six pound test. That's all it will hold of six pound. 75 yards of four pound. But this reel is designed to throw lighter baits for bass or panfish or whatever it is you're trying to catch. I would prefer this rod being like a five six or a six foot. Got him. That's a, that's a little large mouth. That is fun. That's something else. Okay. This is the biggest fish that I have caught on this setup. Okay, that's a, quite a few hooks there. Might be able to get that out. There we go. It's kind of wedged down between his gills. So he's not bleeding. He's all good. Try to get a little snapshot for my thumbnail. Because I'll probably I might just title this my BFS thing. I don't know. Smoked it. I mean, smoked it. He smoked that thing. Come on. Gotcha. You mine now, boy. Mm -hmm. I've been studying on catching you. How in the crap? Tied on one of my go-to baits for when it's a little bit cooler out. Um, I'd had a lot of really good luck with it back around March, February, March of this year. Um, caught a ton of fish on this bait. But this is a 316th ounce Yozuri Mini Rattlin' Vibe in uh, like a goldish color, kind of like a gold shiner color. And I guess I should check my drag. A little bit heavier than what I was throwing on it. Not by much. But during the fall, reaction baits can be the thing. crappie bite seems to have died down quite a bit so now I'm just trying to cover water and find them again
have no idea where that went. Had to swap out GoPro cards. I say GoPro cards, but SD cards. Oh, something nipped at it. And just a couple days ago, I was up here. Oh, that was almost bad. A couple days I was up here. Well, it's been about a week ago now, I guess. Um, of course, it was a little bit warmer. It's throwing Cotton Cordell Super Spot, and it was just one right after another, it seemed. I didn't get any of them on video. Because my GoPro was charging. I don't know if I'll split this into a BFS video and another video or just make it all into one. Got him. Hey, another species. There's a lot of hooks, so please stop us doing that. And I do not have you gripped very well. Open your mouth. Little yellow bass. I don't know, I might go ahead and just make a short BFS video. Ooh. Well, like usual, my GoPro's dead, one card's full, and I get a okay-ish little bass. That's probably, I don't know, a quarter pound, I guess. He's he a thicken. But I'm gonna fish for a few more minutes and then call it quits. I'm not sure if I've recorded it in the GoPro footage, but this is the BFS setup I was using today. It's just a cheap little Shakespeare Micro Series Ultralight 4.6. I would prefer it being a 5.6 or a 6 foot, which I will get a rod with those dimensions, but I wanna keep a shorter handle. The reel is a Cast King Zephyr, very finessey reel, made for throwing small baits. Um, got it spooled up with roughly 65, 60 yards of six pound mono, and you can kind of see the spool through it. These reels are not designed to hold a lot of line, but that's the thing with BFS setups, learning to play your drag and having fun with it. And I sure enough had some fun with this setup today. Well, I decided to call it quits, even though shad were starting to move back in and the bite was picking up a little bit, but it's pretty dang cool out here with this breeze and my hands are starting to get pretty cold and i just about couldn't feel the bites through the rod so i just decided to call it quits and yeah not too bad a little afternoon maybe two and a half hours uh, i think i got two videos out of this one um bfs rod setup and fishing video and then just a multi-species thing anyway if you like the video like share comment subscribe thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video